Hey, it's Lane with Windows10Update.com, and today I want to show you how to install Windows Media Center on Windows 10. Previously, this was something that was not available and could not be installed on Windows 10, but a workaround has been found that will work for you at least at current. So I will leave a link to two different sites that you need to go to in order for this to work. So first of all, you'll need to go to this link to go ahead and download this file, which will enable you to install Windows Media Center. Second, you also need to download WinRAR, which will enable you to unpack the download that you will get from this link. So now that we have downloaded the file and downloaded and set up WinRAR, what we need to do is go ahead and double click on the Windows Media Center file, open up this folder and then extract these files. So what we can do here is I'll just go ahead and create a new folder and call it Windows Media Center just so that I know exactly where to find these files here. So we'll then say OK and allow it to extract. All right, so now that those files are extracted, I'm going to head into that folder, go into this Windows Media Center folder that I created. And then the first thing we need to do is right click on this test rights uh, option here and then say run as administrator. We'll say yes to this prompt. All right, so now that this is finished, the next thing we need to do is reboot the PC. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll come back to the recording once that is finished. All right, I have now rebooted my system. So now we can move on to the next step. So we wanna navigate back to that folder in File Explorer where the contents of the Windows Media Center are located. Then go ahead and right click on Installer and say Run as Administrator and then say Yes to this prompt. So we'll just go ahead and let this run. So now we can just press any key to exit. All right, now we can just search in the Cortana or search box for Media Center, and there it is. So from here, you can uh, pin this to the start, pin this to your task, uh, task bar, wherever you'd like to put this so that you can access it more easily. So you can see now that's where that is. So if we go ahead and launch it just to see what that looks like, make sure it runs properly. And there we have it. That is Windows Media Center running on Windows 10. And that's how you do it. Thanks for watching, folks.